Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Friday morning. Um, we are the Key Group and uh, we're here to talk about uh, this Friday's topic, which is... <laughs> That's a sad drum roll, but we'll take it. All right, uh, the topic is how many homes is the average amount of homes a buyer looks at before they make an offer on the home? Common, common, common question. A lot of people ask me this question. So, um, yeah, what do you think? So, I, what do I think? I think, um, you know, I've seen it from both sides, right? I've seen it as a buyer and I've seen it as um, an agent representing buyers. And, you know, it, it, it's, so it's got a couple different viewpoints there. But I would say, generally speaking, I think there's maybe two camps here. That's kind of my thought. I think there's the go with your, your gut camp and I think there's the, uh, the super analytical camp that might... Um, want to be a little bit more careful. So kind of you're saying the Dans and Nicoles of the world. Probably, probably. <laughs> so, so what I was thinking, and um, you know, I think in a way it's very much more uh, in practice a blend of the two, right? So there's, there's, this, there's this idea of, you know, where do you start? You start with that basic criteria, I think. What are you looking for? Are you looking for a two bedroom? Are you looking for a four bedroom? Mm -hmm. Do you want to have property? Do you not want to have property? So start high level and then um, kind of stealing this idea, but uh, the concept of what we call building your gut. And what does that mean? You know, it's not what you think it means being a dad, but it means, <laughs> you know, it, it means gathering information about what you're looking at um, to make a smart choice. And, you know, it gets you to the point where you can say, yes, we think that this is the home for us. Uh, we think this is the home for me. And that's what we want to move forward on. What do you think? Okay. Um, I agree with that. I, I think working with a lot of buyers over a long period of time, you learn that not every buyer is created equal and everybody looks at things differently. And there is, you know, usually, especially when you have couples that buy homes, which, you know, not everyone's a couple. There's a lot of single buyers. But... You have one person that's one way and you have another person that's another way and kind of like you and I, like you would be right. the very analytical and I'd be very emotional in how I would buy a home, but it still doesn't answer the question. That's true. So the question was, how many homes is the average amount of homes that somebody looks at before they buy? So we've led up to it, but <clears throat> what's the answer? What do you think the actual answer well, is? I think the, the meatier question is how many homes should they look at? Okay. Because fair enough, because there's an answer to that too. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a blend here. I really do. I think that there's a, you know, how many does the average buyer look at? And, you know, I think it's low single digits, maybe, you know, upwards of 10. No, yeah, I disagree. <laughs> and here's why. Okay, so the average amount of homes that I'd say buyers typically look at in this market. Mind you, that's changeable and it definitely has changed over the years and how the market flows. But I'd say five to seven homes, even three to seven homes. And a lot of people are like, wow, that's not a lot. Well, there isn't a whole lot on the market. And my reasoning behind that and why we don't go upwards of 10 is because, because the inventory is so low. Literally, I think I looked up in North Canton um, how many homes. I have buyers right now in North Canton and everywhere, but we have buyers. And there are only, there was only two houses on the market in their price range, which was a $75,000 range in North Canton. So if there's only two houses in the market and there's 40 people looking, you know, how many houses does someone have to see before they realize this is the house for them? Okay, so here's a question for you. Does it count to, what's the difference between, what is seeing a house? Can you help me understand what seeing a house is? Because in today's market, in today's technological market, you can see as many houses as you want. You can go right. online and you can tour and see all kinds of homes. Um, you can take virtual tours. You can. Did you hear, by the way, speaking of coronavirus, the Rona, I'm going to bring up the Rona, that there's a lot of houses right now that are doing these virtual 3D tours mm -hmm. where you can literally schedule showing yourself with your realtor online to see this home and they, it brings the house to life 3D and walks you through the house 3D. And it's not just rolling through pictures. So that's pretty cool. So I would say that answers that part part of that question. But the other part is, you know, when you're going to see a home, you're smelling it, you know, you're feeling it, um, you're being able to stand there and see a 360 view of the yard. I mean, there's 
a lot involved with it's that. It's a good point. It's a good point. I think it more qualifies your argument than on the number of houses you should really see, I guess, in person. And I think you'll have a tendency to figure out exactly what you're looking for yeah. after you see a couple. You know, get a good idea, you know, start with that, that process of trying to figure out what your criteria yeah. is. You know, bring in as much information as you can, you know, build your gut and um, yeah, see as many as you can online. But then, you know, I think it's to your point, the way the market is today, you've got to be ready to go. You, um, you really have to get out there and be ready to go and make, be ready to make a decision and, and have that, um, ha you know, have yourself in a, in a good position to be, uh, to be ready to choose. I agree. I agree with that. Being, I, I think that's the most important part about what you said was that being ready to make a decision is the most important part. So what we aren't doing, so there's two things I want to say before we wrap up this video. Uh, the first thing is, is we aren't looking at houses willy nilly just because we think it's pretty. Um, if you're pre-proof for a certain range, we're looking at houses in that range. Um, and we're seriously looking at houses in that range. We're not just going to look at a house just because you like only the master bedroom. We want to look at houses that you are ready and willing to buy if it's the right house. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, um, if we're looking at more than five to seven houses, if we're looking at 10, 15, 20, 25 houses, something's not right. Um, and you know, it's, it's between you and your realtor, or you and us, to talk about what's not fitting into place here because there's just no justification for there's so little on the market. How come we've seen 30 of these homes and we still haven't bought one? Right. So that's something that we go down that road if we get there. Yeah, and it also kind of plays into the conversation of how many times do you look at the house before you make an offer, right? Right, a lot of false information out there about that. Don't Google it because you will get the wrong answer. <laughs> but do you know the answer to that? Right now, it's you're lucky if you get one time. One Lucky time, if you get one time. time. You might only get a virtual showing. It. We, there's homes closing right now that are going without the buyer actually seeing the house mm -hmm. in person. It's called sight unseen. Crazy, right? But it actually is happening. Yeah, yeah. So, so houses are selling in six, four, six, twelve hours. So you get one opportunity, one shot, yeah. one moment. Mom's okay. spaghetti. Anyway, <laughs> you guys didn't chime in for that, but um. Wait, wait, can... wait! I want to show them one thing. Okay. Y'all know that I'm pregnant. So I, I wanted to show them my belly. Go for it. Okay. I'm going to stand up. Ooh, look at that <laughs> belly. Daddy. Okay. All right. I'm all done now. You guys have a good rest of your week. This was a great Friday video. Sound off below. How many houses did you look at before you bought? I'm really curious to know. And tell me what year you bought your house because I want to see. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. What, what time frame you bought the house in. So thanks for tuning in. We will see you next Friday. See you guys.